Hello my friends, my name is LazyJet, welcome back to another Hornby model review. So far my Hornby collection has gotten bigger and it's expanded a lot. And then I decided to start collecting all of Hornby's Thomas and Friends characters. So far I have Thomas, Henry, Edward and recently I've bought Percy. And if you haven't seen the video while I was reviewing Percy, I actually also had the Hornby book from 2017. And I was ticking off of all the Thomas and Friends characters I had. And in that video I said I was missing Gordon and I did say I would try and find one but I did say it would be quite hard for me to try and find a, a 2016 Hornby Gordon in, in a very good condition for a good price. But thanks to all my viewers, subscribers and donators I've actually managed to actually find a Hornby Gordon and here it is. Ooh, I have been searching for a Hornby Gordon for many months, but the thing is, they were going on sale for way too much money and I, I, I just couldn't afford it at the time. And the colour in the camera has gone off a bit slightly. Why is it going, why is it, my face is very orange. Is that actually my skin colour or is the camera colour a bit off? I think it's a bit off. Anyway, I have been searching for a Hornby Gordon for months, um, and as I said, you know, I couldn't find one for a good price because they were going up to like 200 to 250 pounds, and I thought, I'm not spending over 200 pounds for a, a model like this. But I did find a seller who had a Hornby Gordon, and he actually fitted it with a DCC chip, so this is a digital Gordon, thank God. Because my layout is digital, I wouldn't actually be able to run this, so um, thank God it's actually DCC fitted, so... That's, that's a bonus. But I did pay £175 for this. How much? Yes, I know what you're thinking. £175 for a Hornby Gordon is a bit absurd, if you ask me. In my opinion, I think it's a good find because Hornby don't make these anymore, so... I, I, think, I think it's a good find. I mean, I don't know what you guys think. You can leave your, of what, what you think in your, your opinion, sorry. You can leave your opinion in the, uh, in the comment section below and see what you think. Do you think £175 is, 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 worth, if, is worth the model for this? What, what, what do you guys think? Do you think this is worth £175? I'll leave you guys to decide that. But let's get out of this box and let's see what it's like because um, I'm actually seeing... Uh, I'm actually really excited to actually see what kind of detail this thing has because I have heard it's actually got quite some good detail and so far, in my opinion, Hornby Gordon is probably the best Thomas and Friends character that Hornby have actually made because it's actually based off an A1 slash A3, I think. But anyway, let's get Gordon out of his box because I'm really excited to review it. Yeah! I shouldn't really like shake the box around like this so much because I could actually damage it. And yes, I have very bad hair today. I'm having a very weird hair day. Well, not just a day, but my hair has been doing weird things for the past couple of weeks. Maybe I should get it cut again. I don't like long hair. I said that before, didn't I? I do not like long hair. Right, so let's start off with the box. Uh, I do apologise for this like ring light that I have because it's actually coming off the camera, so you can't actually see the model very well. So sorry about the, the lighting, but at least you guys can see it in a nice clearer picture I suppose but anyway um, I do like the the Hornby Thomas and Friends box I think it looks really nice the colors actually pop and it's funny how like Gordon actually matches with uh, with the actual box because I, th I think the, the color of Gordon sorry matches the box I really like that um, I've got a little Thomas the Tank Engine on the side uh, in CGI of course I've got Thomas and Friends logo right let's get this out of this box and see what it's like because um, I'm actually really excited uh, let's try not to knock the camera so I'm gonna flip up this little pad thing. I mean, this box is is quite worn, but I'll do everything I can to try and look after it. So let's just slide him out. There we go. Ooh. Right, I'll put the box to one side. Actually, I mean, I've got lots of boxes. I need to put these boxes to one side. There we go. Right, so Gordon. Oh, he's not actually out of his box yet. Let's um, gently s slide him out. I do say this a lot, but I really do like the uh, the packaging of Hornby. Oh, just knocked the package. Well done, Oliver. I'm not very good at looking after these things. Now for the final bit, just open this little flap. It's a bit loud. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I do try and use two hands for this, but um, I'm gonna do this. Uh, let's just get you out of the box first, and then we'll move the package out of the way. Just pop you down there. There we go. Goodbye, Mr. Mr. Package. A case, sorry, I should call it a case, but here he is, the Hornby Gordon. Got to be very careful, it's very cold to the touch, isn't it? It's always cold to the touch. There he is, look at the colours on that. I mean, that, I mean, the red and the blue do seriously pop on, especially on a model like this. And I have to say, probably Gordon is the, probably the most best model um, 
that Hornby have ever made in the Thomas and Friends collection. I, I like to I like to call it a collection because um, these are quite collectible now because they're they're quite rare to find, especially one for a good price. Um, I'll give you a good close-up of the tender, so you can see there's number four. It's got no cab detail, but that's no, not really a big issue. Um, I'll give you a close-up of the actual cab if the camera will focus, focus in. It's focusing on the tender, not the cab. Let me see if I can try and adjust the camera focus. Or I'm, or I'm probably too close. Let me zoom in. Oh, that's better. Let's zoom in. That's much better. So there's the number four. So it's looking very nice though, because the old Hornby Gordon, the number four was actually in a different font and it was way too big. But now this just, it just looks better. And the old Hornby Gordon actually had a much more darker blue, but this is actually a much better blue and it really does work. So you get a good shot of the cab and the handrails and the boiler and the wheels. Are, it's not, it's, it's not um, engine driven, it, it's actually tender driven because the motor is actually in the tender. But you guys are probably wanting to see his face, so I'll try and like turn him around slightly so you can actually see his full. It's very out of focus. Um, come, on, come on, Gordon, I know you've got a big face, but you know, I'm sure the camera can pick it up. There we go. Now that is a good Gordon face. Look at that. He's really happy to be out of the box. And he's really happy to be here in my hands, isn't he? Aren't you, Gordon? He's fantastic. The only thing that um, that doesn't look right, what do you guys think it is? That's right, it's the buffers, because Gordon either has, well, in the in the railway series, he had, like, rectangular buffers, uh, but in the television series, he had, like, oval buffers, didn't he? But the buffers aren't actually a big issue. I mean, to be honest, um, it can't, this this looks more like a like an A1 slash A3 with the normal buffers, so I quite like that. Um, so, yeah, that looks absolutely fantastic. So, let me just zoom out again so you guys can actually zoom in. There we go. So... God, this, this, this looks so good. I really love this model so much. So I think we should actually start putting this on the tracks to see what he actually looks like. Oh, my phone's just went off. I've got a message on Discord. I need to turn my phone off when I'm actually recording these videos. But yes, uh, I'm going to put Gordon on the tracks and see what he looks like with the rest of his friends. So let's have a look then, shall we? I think we shall this way. There we go, my friends, Gordon and his friends. Well, actually, it should be Thomas and friends, really, shouldn't it? But uh, we've got Thomas, Gordon, Edward, Henry and Percy all looking amazing. And I did do a size comparison and Gordon is indeed the biggest engine out of all of them. Which makes sense because Gordon is the only engine on Sodor who's actually strong enough and big enough to actually pull the Express. And because Gordon's the only engine who can do that, he does feel very proud and very grand. So he, he does sometimes, he can, he can get a bit uh, carried away in saying that he is actually the most important engine on Sodor. But on Sodor, there is no such thing as most important, is there? I think all engines, we can all agree, are equally really useful. Right, I think we should give Gordon a quick little test run to see if it actually does run. Uh, I'm hoping it does. Uh, so we're going to put it in forward, or is this reverse? I'm not entirely sure. But let's give it just a bit of power and see what happens. Oh, he's moving. Very slowly though. Oh, so it is DCC fitted, so that's good. Very nice. Let's put him in reverse to see how well it runs in reverse. Oh, that looks really good, doesn't it? I know Gordon says tender engines don't shun, but I tell you what, this would make a great shunter at that crawling speed. I don't think Gordon would be too happy about it, no. I think we should just stick him with the Express, I think. Let's put him in reverse again, let's have a little look. God, that is actually running really, really smooth. There we go. We'll pop you in forward again, Gordon, and then we'll have you stop right in the middle. Um, I think he just cut out for a second, but he managed to resolve his issues. There we go. Lovely. Now that is excellent so, well i think we should give him some coaches now and see what it looks like at speed so um but unfortunately i don't actually have any gordon express coaches so um i've got a better idea i'm gonna use pullman coaches instead pullman's good anyway right so let's get gordon coupled to his train now i'm gonna have the multi task here because i'm gonna have to use the controller and move the camera at the same time so um if i get this spot on i'll, I'll be pleased with just myself so let's put gordon in reverse and let's have him coupled up to his train Oh, this is uh, this is multitasking right now. I'm doing it though. You couple up, Gordon. There you go. Oh, uh, I think the coupling's a bit jammed. Let me give you a helping hook there, Gordon. There we go. Um, silly coupling was jammed, but there we go. Gordon's coupled up to three of lovely Pullman coaches. Uh, let's give him some power and see how he runs on the main line. So take it away, Gordon. You have uh, right of way. Let's go.
And I think running with Gordon today should be Edward pulling a slow goods train because Edward does do a good job and he doesn't really complain about, well, nothing I suppose because Edward is a very hard working engine and he just loves getting the job done. So let's get Edward moving. Are you going to go forwards or backwards, Edward? Which way are you going? Or is he not Or he's not going anywhere at all? Move. See if he's going to move. You're going to move there, Edward. Well, my friends, good news. I have got Edward working finally. I found out what the problem is. One of the tracks wasn't actually plugged in properly, which caused the electricity to not flow through smoothly. But now that I fixed that, Edward is running much more better. It hasn't cut out yet, but Gordon is the star of the show. I mean, look at this. He's on thundering speed right now. And he just looks absolutely stunning. That's f uh, well, it's not actually full speed, I was going to say. But he does look good at a decent speed. Look at that. That's just gorgeous. And in my opinion, Gordon does look really nice when he's pulling some nice Pullman coaches. It's going past Edward there. God, it's so nice that I actually have Gordon and Edward working together on my own railway and we've got Percy Henry and Thomas in the sidings they're taking a rest today but they're still on camera so say hello you three but now I'm gonna get some cool shots of Gordon and Edward at close-up so enjoy the little running session that I have for you today and leave a comment if you spot anything that I've missed and um, yeah hope you enjoy Well, my friends, that was a good running session. It was so cool to see Gordon and Edward finally working in harmony on, on, on the layout. So, um, yeah, the final thing to do now is 
we've got to mark it in the book. So what I'm going to do is simply, which page is it? It's the first one. Yes, it is. So let's have a look. Uh, got Thomas, Percy, Edward. Don't have a James though. That's that's probably the last proper one from the collection. So if we turn the page, let's have a look. We've got Annie and Clarabelle, Henry, Gordon. There he is. So we can just tick him off with my pen. There we go. And simply close the book. All marked in the book. Only character now is James. Where am I going to get a James from? I think a Hornby James would be more easier to find than the rest because they have made quite a bit of uh, Jameses because James is quite a, quite a popular character in the show, isn't he? Anyway, my friends, that concludes our video for today. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Now, quick question. Is the Hornby Gordon worth £175? In my opinion, yes, because one, it's already digital, and second of all, out of all the Thomas and, Car Thomas and Friends characters... I can't speak. Out of all of the Thomas and Friends characters that Hornby have made, I think Gordon by far looks the best. But thank you so much for watching this video, my friends. Make sure you click the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye for now. things sort of